your show. Love tap to the back of the head of the Rubik. Yeah. This is a stomp on Io. Potentially a kill as well with the Bramble Maze. Nice catch and nice first blood. Move on to Alpha Ninja now. One little love tap to the back of the head of the Rubik. Yeah. This is a stomp on Io. Potentially a kill as well with the Bramble Maze. Nice catch and nice first blood. Move on to Alpha Ninja now. TA and Dusa just like up and down. Yeah, and you're standing on a high ground when you're defending it. Oh, King R. He came in with a haste and he wanted to make a play on nine, but <laughs> FNG is here, ready and waiting. Tips and Got him. Rubik on stacking duty. Hang on a second. Making a move in onto nine. Lena, uh, not expecting this one coming in. Snake bounces, lands perfectly with a raw. And they've timed this wonderfully to catch <laughs> Nine out with the tips preemptively. Stomp dodges the Bramble Maze. King R does get caught inside the little purple thorns. He's very close to death, but Nine unable to line up that Laguna Blade until finally they'll find a couple of clicks into the Rubik. One more will do the trick, and there we go. Global Silence in the back. Centaur stunned and killed. As they get the one-for-one one trade. Blink Stomp. Io Tether. They've got the Terrorize, and there goes Io out of here with the Laguna Blade clearing up Gyro. They're going to get a twofer. Easy kills, easy pickings for Team Spirit. That will adds his uh, third item. Second and a half, whatever you want to call it, since Dragon Lines can be upgraded. Oof. Like there's the Joe. Oh, that could have been a big stomp. He's catching the Gyro. And they reload. will move in with a global. There we go. No the reload. Io cannot relocate. He's been cancelled out, so they'll find one, and the tether away means they won't find two. Spotted here. A good LSA does connect with one, but the lift up, and King R has caught the Lena in. They go with a terrorize onto everybody, and Hester Joe clears up King R. LSA connects on the Gyro with a roar, though. Lena caught. The call down lands, but it doesn't land on much. As Hester Joe's chased off to the west, and the Dark Willow turns to fight, but the LSA just continues. But because there's a lot of uncontrollable damage on side of Gambit. Yeah. Well, you can, you can, we can, you know, everyone can see the kind of rationale but and the, the thought process behind it. As they do jump, the gyro, Vanscore trying desperately to keep him alive, but that Laguna Blade absolutely slays him. He used the relocate and then stopped it, Beastmaster Roar. And rip FNG. Seconds. His Terror Blade TPs and a good stomp onto Rubik. Should be simple pickings here as King R is left all alone by the rest of his team. Get from it. Here we are with Team Spirit smoking though. Roshan, oh, how we have? They jump in, terrorize, nicely placed with the LSA. Quick and simple onto the Beastmaster as the Terror Blade. Oh, he's got the Scardi, the slow onto Vatscore with the blow up from the Laguna Blade. Nine claims lives. The BKB of Dahak does come out to play though. The trouble is, Terror Blade has a butterfly. In comes the Beastmaster, looking for the roar. roar. The chain stun is there, and well played Gambit. The rest of Team Spirit bailing away. King R, very close. Stolen stun. Nicely done by King R. Gets the LSA down, and that's Lena gone for 75. Yeah, King R. They have almost identical net worth, by the way. And almost identical items. Oops. Alpha Ninja the Gyrocopter has the backup of the IO as Vanscore gets ready. caught. Laguna Blade is there. She's not available as it's already been used. He does fall flat on his the Metamorphosis and wants to make the most of it. Global over the top of the Rubik after the Yules to make sure he will die. And they're chasing King R until the end of days. A roar from Afterlife catching the Centaur, but the damage is lacking in the Yules in the air. The Gyro is going, he's falling, he's dead. Down you go for 70 seconds. Dahak and Af don't. It's TP to tier 3, and Roshan's already died. In they jump, King R catches. Centaur dragged back into the clutches. They don't have... Oh, they do. The Yule Scepter up. King R stops the Stampede. Nicely done. With a homing missile landing, that Centaur gone. Dark Willow also died. A little bit mad, drawing on the minimap to... actually... point out TB should have gone bottom because they couldn't contest the Rosh instead of TPing. Well, 9 will do the job instead. Well, the TB by Team Spirit, they know exactly what's up. Biver still might get caught, though. There's the roar. Alpha Ninja on top. Quick and simple. And oh. That's the way it goes. Yeah, uh, double. The They're going to catch the Silencer as well. FNG down. Silence. And Gem on the floor. Should 